All right, everybody. Uh, I'm going to show you how I uh, map my buttons for 6 axis controller. A lot of people have been asking about it. So here we go. Basically, what I do is on the ROM that I'm running on my Acer Iconia, if you go to settings, go to screen, screenshot. Now you have to be rooted, I believe, for most screenshots to work unless you have a Galaxy S2 phone where if you hit power and the home button at the same time, it will work. Now you can go into the market if you're rooted and look for, a, just search screenshot, anything that you can capture, screen capture, anything that basically takes a screenshot. So for Modern Combat 3, I will open it up. I wish I knew how to video edit so you don't have to sit here and watch this. But what I do is skip this stupid intro. Sorry for the shakiness. I couldn't prop my phone up. I just felt like doing this real quick. Now what you do is I'll just go to multiplayer. We'll go local Wi-Fi, so we don't have to wait for anyone to join. Go to create match, start match. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right. Do do do. I wish I was witty enough to like talk about something, but I don't feel like it. Oh, Sonic 4 was just released for Android. So, uh, pick it up. Because it's freaking sweet. So, we're going to start now. We're going to pick this weapon kit. Now, what you can do is... You can take a screenshot right here, but you're going to miss out on a couple things that you want to map out. Just in case, like if the knife pops up, or if you're... Uh, any of your perks that you're playing online, like if you get your satellite, helicopter, whatever. So what I do is I go into the menu, you go to options. What you want to do is make sure your controls are on classic controls. You can switch to like, you know, screen tap. You want them on classic controls because that will single out the left analog stick so you can map over it. Now what you do is you go back to options and you go to customize. Now if you notice it brings up the knife, it brings up everything else like that. And what I do is I screenshot this. And after that is done, I exit out. Oop. <laughs> I'll show you that one in a second. Now when you're in 6-axis controller, I'm not going to show you how to do it. There's videos on here how to actually set up 6-axis controller. If you have a tablet, um, it offers pair controller options. So you can hook it up through an actual USB, which, oh, if you have mine, which actually has a full USB port. Doo -doo -doo. And um, you can plug in your controller, hit pair controller, and it'll change the Bluetooth address on your PS3 controller to the one that's actually on the tablet. But I'm on, if you notice, I've got my little, where is it? Yeah, red light, I'm already on. So you go to your menu, go to preferences, whoops, sorry, I just woke up. I gotta go to work. Uh, you go into preferences and go to edit touch profiles, and then double tap the screen. Now what you do is you change the background, and you go to your screenshot, and then boom oh look at that see how it's all there waiting for you then after that all you do is double check the screen and add button and we'll start with analog left so you take the left analog stick and you put it right over the analog Ta -da! now the finished product load profile will go to modern combat 3 will look like this my analog's over my analog, I have start with pauses, select will bring up uh, how everybody's doing, circle to crouch. Analog right, uh, you have to double tap and go to button properties, and for the right stick to work for looking around, you have to put on relative touch mode. Mess with the sensitivity afterwards to your likings, so I do that and then keep this open and go back in a task manager to modern combat, and it'll leave right where you're left off, so tweak it out 
and then uh, see how it works on the screen and if you need a little bit more tweaking then I go back to six axis and then mess with the sensitivity some more I have triangle L3 R1 to fire I have it set up basically exactly the same as Call of Duty so it's freaking awesome now there's other games too like uh, I'll go to load profile like Sonic 4 just I just installed the other day if you notice on the very tips of each of them up down left and right and then analog I, I mapped everything to the freaking button because it's one it's a one button game you know what I mean and then you save your profiles and you give them names and then when you're on this screen when you connect you go here and it says Sonic 4 Modern Combat 2 I have Angry Birds mapped with the analog everything all you do is just map the buttons over it to your liking just tweak it out Grand Theft Auto 3 Modern Combat 3 like I'll go to Sonic 4 right now and we'll close out I'm going to Sonic 4. I'm a little shaky. I drank some tequila last night. Sega fucking rules. And hopefully this video is going to help you guys out. If you're ever having any problems, just refer to this video. I'm going to tap the screen. We're going to continue. Why is it saving? I'm continuing. And we'll just go back to the beginning. Play this act. Do, do, do. Old school Sonic. I miss you. I was a big Sonic fan. I'm 30 years old. Sega Genesis was the shit. I wasn't a big Super Nintendo fan. I didn't like RPGs. I still don't. Didn't like Final Fantasy VII. I just don't like turn based games. Now, with the controller. Left, right. Up, down, and then I'm gonna hit buttons. You can hear them spinning. And it works fine. Do do do. Map every game you want. Also, a really cool thing, like a Bobo's Big Adventure came out for PC. Um you I forgot how I did it. It's like um if if you go into six axis controller again and then you go into preferences for flash games that don't like you that don't require a mouse or anything like that. I heard it's been updated so you can actually use a mouse with 6 axis controller, but I don't. You can go to input mappings and you can go to your first controller and left, right, up and down. You can make W, A, S, D and um, map whatever you want to like P or whatever you need to press. You could play a Bobo's Big Adventure, which I really recommend, or any flash game that uses a W, A, S, D or up, down, left, right in the keyboard, you can map that on your controller and play flash games. So it's endless how many games you can play for Android now with the 6-axis controller because of this too. Freaking awesome. But uh, you can see my reflection. Hi, guys. Um, hopefully this video helped. Um, I'd say leave a comment or like, but I, I can care less. I'm just trying to help you guys out. So uh, keep it real. I'm going to go cook some food. Um, yeah, that's about it. Peace out.